Um, hey guys, it's Simon with Caddis Fly Shop. Uh, today I'm tying a salmon fly dry for you. It's just about everyone's favorite time of year when that big salmon fly hatch is coming around. Um, I'm tying this with this Rainy's two body is what's significant about this fly. That's how I get that real realistic look towards the back. Um, it's actually pretty easy once you put that body on. You really just put the legs and the wing on and dub it to make a profile of the body and you're done. So it's pretty quick. It makes doing an extended body super easy. Um, if you're tying stuff for one of those hatches, whether you're on the Deschutes or the Rogue or uh, the Madison or the Henry's Fork or anywhere with salmon flies, you know, this is a great fly to have. Pretty floaty. Um, you know, we tie it on a real stout hook because those big fish like to look up when those bugs are out. Um, you know, and it just, you know, looks pretty realistic. You can let it sink. They eat them when they're down and they're, you know, just getting trashed in the water. So fish are dry, fish are wet, whatever you want. Um, it'll catch fish. So we'll get started here. To get started, guys, um, we're using this heavy wire hook from A-Rex. Um, this is kind of the profile of it. Um, it is the HR416 and Adrenus Nymph. Um, works real good for a variety of stuff. Um, it's just real stout, so it works really good for big fish and um, it's just a really sturdy hook. I like it a lot. So um, again, I'm tying this on these two bodies, these extended bodies um, that look super realistic. Makes it really easy to put on. Um, and for this fly, um, what we're gonna do is I'll show you how to put it on is you run the hook through this body's hollow. So you run the hook through this body and um, you know, kind of find the spot where you want it to poke out. And then uh, when you get there, you uh, kind of just pop it through where you want it and run the body up onto the hook. I like to have it about there. Um, if you'd like, you can trim off some of this excess because you really don't need it. You're just gonna cramp a lot of this down with um, thread. But that's how you put it on. You run it through the center and pop it out the bottom. Um, when you're learning, and when I was learning how to use these, it helped me to pinch my barb because I would go through and realize it's in the wrong spot. And so um, it just helps to kind of get it through. And if, if you have to adjust it, you're going to have to crimp the barb anyways. Um, it's a good habit to get into too. So to start, um, we're using 70 denier thread, uh, Danville's 6 aught would be close and something else if you like it. You don't really see the color too much, so it's not super important, but I'm using um, a tan color. But I really don't want something super thick because I don't want to crowd the, um, I don't want it to be, you know, I don't want to build up too much of a body with this stuff. Um, you know, I need it to be strong enough to secure this, this two body down, but I don't want it so big that the fly ends up being, being too bulky and big. Um, so what you're gonna do right now is just kind of secure this down. You don't want this thing to move. So just do plenty of wraps to kind of get it. You can see it's kind of not really moving much. You want it secure. Um, and so next, um, we're going to add just a little bit of dubbing here um, to kind of fill in this. So what I like to use for dubbing, um, basically I just try to match the color with this. And I found this is a pretty close match, this Senyo's Laser Dub in Rusty Bronze and this uh, Squirrel Hair Dubbing from uh, Hairline in Brown. Um, and when you mix that together, uh, you end up with something like this, which is pretty close to the body. Um, doesn't need to be perfect, but I think it helps to just not jump from like one color to another. So I try to get close with it. So we're just kind of going to dub a little bit right to about, you know, this point until we, um, you know, are ready to put the wings on. And like I said, from here on, you know, it's not, once you have the body on, you know, you're just kind of building the front of the fly, which is kind of cool. You don't have to mess around building your own extended body, which if you do it, um, if you do it and you get you know good at it and you're used to it, it doesn't take too long, but this is just much quicker and easier. Um, especially if you're gearing up for a trip and you're trying to crank flies out and you don't want to mess with that. This is a really, these bodies are a really great way to, uh, you know, just crank out flies pretty quick. And so we're going to wrap up to about here where the hook point is, and then we are going to um, add in some legs. So the legs I like to use are these um, Bard Sexy Floss from Montana Fly Company. That's what I like to use. Um, copper medium is the color I like. And so you'll take one um, and they kind of flare out one direction. You can kind of see it kind of flares one way. 
I like to have that side pointed out. Before I do that, I'm going to wrap up to here just in case that leg comes up here. I don't think it's going to come up quite that far, but we'll put these eyes on. Um, that is going to need thread there anyway, so I'll just get that done. And so we'll tie these legs on. Um, do one side here. And then we'll do the other side over here. Again, you kind of want that edge that's flaring out to be facing the outside of the fly. Otherwise, the leg flares into the body and it's not really looking kind of leggy and buggy like how you want it to look. And so we'll kind of get these legs secured where they got to be up here. And then snip the front off right here. These are a little long, we'll cut them back uh, at the end, but that's fine. So we'll kind of do a little bit of dubbing behind the legs and then we'll add the wing. Um, the wing that I like to use is, um, I like to use EP fibers, you can use Widow's Web, whatever. You're just doing something for, for the wing. Um, and I found in my experience fishing the Golden Stone Hatch that adding some wings that splay out to the side uh, really helps mimic, I think, a a drowning stonefly that's just seriously struggling to, to stay afloat on the water. Um, so on most of my patterns for stonefly dries, I, I like to, you know, people call it a fluttering stone, I called it a splayed wing stone. You're going to want to splay the wings out like this because it looks like, you know, that bug's wings are wet and it's got no shot. So I like to use a mix of um, some crystal flash root beer along with this caddis gray um, EP fiber um, to uh, this is the EP trigger point fiber too to uh, create this wing so I take a little section like this you don't need too much and I, I'll just tie it in right up here and then kind of bring it back and then we'll trim it up but we're just kind of securing it right up here the wing kind of to go back like this and then we'll kind of just secure it down like that um, trimming it don't need it this long I like to trim it just before the end of the fly it's about how long their wings are um, I actually shorten it just a little bit from there actually just because um, you know you don't want to be casting if this gets wet you know it's gonna kind of be a pain to cast and sometimes when they're too big you don't want to um, it's just kind of a pin to cast. So I like to trim them down, but I do like to have the wings there. I think it does help a little bit. And so I'm kind of going to trim them even like that. You can splay them out. You can keep them sort of even. I like to separate them a little bit, but that's the wing that you want to look for. It's like something like that going over the back. Next, um, we're going to add a little bit more dubbing up to the front. Kind of fill in this body. We don't need to get too thick with it. Just kind of covering the work we did. Um, and this dubbing's pretty... Uh, kind of puffy with how it lays out. So you can do some extra wraps over the dubbing with the thread and you don't see it and that'll just kind of help hold it together. These fish, you know, crush these flies and you know, you want it to stay together. So I often add a couple of extra wraps over the thread. Um, and so next here, we're almost done. We just got to add the deer hair wing and then the uh, eyes and then just dub the head and we're done. So just kind of doing some work right here to add a little bit of uh, dubbing up here and then I'll toss these eyes on do the wing and we'll be done um, like I said that you know this extended body makes it pretty quick once you get good at kind of takes a little bit to learn how to put them on and gauge where you need that stuff to be but um, so the eyes I like to use are these mono nymph eyes um, in small it's really you know not necessary it's just something I put on um, you can too, you can skip it, you can, and you can, you know, there's a lot of variation you can do with how you tie this fly too. You know, you can do a bullet head um, and splay a bunch of deer hair. You can do, um, you know, you can add a piece of foam, whatever you want. There's a lot of different ways to do it. You can add an extra section of vertical hackle on the head to help it float. Um, there's a lot of variation with this fly. This is just how I'm, how I use it. Um, and this is how I make use of these two bodies. You know, your limit really is your imagination with these bodies um, so 
There's a lot of different ways to do it. This is just how I do it. Um, the wing, I like to use this all-purpose hair uh, deer. You have your hairs all stacked up. And so putting this hair in here, um, we just wanted to cover this space of this body. We don't need to go all the way back on the uh, wings and it, it won't make it all the way back there anyways. So we'll take our wraps up kind of right behind these legs, measure out where we're putting this. You know, that's a little long. I'll bring it forward just a bit and measure first, always with the deer hair, make sure it's where you want it, and then you can kind of cinch it down, um, and that'll splay it out. Do some extra wraps here to really make sure it's where you want it, and then we will trim off all this excess. If you can pinch it, sometimes you can get it all at once, and then you just, and then as you take wraps of it, you know, it'll kind of squash down, and you'll have space to, uh, you know, just dub the rest of the head and then be done. Uh, once you make some wraps, it's easier to get all the stragglers because they kind of splay out. But yeah, once you clean it up like this, add a little bit of dubbing here and then uh, whip finish and be done. So the same dubbing blend for the head here, just very sparse. We're just covering the stuff up. Um, then we'll do cross wraps around the eyes and stuff and then we'll be kind of all done. So just a little bit to cover here. You might see some straggling pieces of deer hair that you want to trim. Um, but now we're just kind of finishing off this head. Right now, when I do the eyes, I like to just have just a little bit to cross those. Um, right here, we'll just kind of crisscross around the eyes. And then yeah, it's pretty much right by the head. Yeah, and then um, to whip finish, I always like to put a little bit of dubbing so you don't actually see the whip finish. You don't have to do this. It's just kind of a habit I've gotten into. And then... All good, that's how you tie with those extended bodies. Um, if you have any, you know, straggling pieces of hair or dubbing that's kind of going all over, you can trim it. But here you got something that's pretty floaty, looks pretty lifelike with these wings. Um, something I like to do is just add a little drop of, you know, the solar is bone dry, just to secure my wraps, because um, they can come undone. But, you know, here's this fly. Um, you know, you can trim the legs down a little bit. They don't need to be quite that big. But um, yeah, super buggy. Uh, if you take it down to the Deschutes or the Rogue or wherever you fish it, let us know how you like it. Um, you can get all the stuff at caddisflyshop.com. Thanks.